as Sandmill builds new infrastructure, how are we developing the next generation of engineers who will be able to handle new challenges in the future? The interns are all selected by Sanral and are being mentored by engineers from Naidu Consulting and Sanral with their ultimate goal to become professional engineers. Engineering interns supported by Sanral have been assigned to the Ashburton project. We spoke to Evans and Gomo. Joining me today is a Sanral candidate engineer. His name is Evans Ngomo. Thank you so much for joining us today on Sanral TV. Thank you, Tobile. Now, let's start with your journey. How did you actually start your career in engineering? So, I think my career started when I was in high school, when I got introduced to geography and social studies. And I was introduced to the concept of infrastructure development and how it changes lives. And going into university, I knew that this is a kind of field that I want to be in where I can impact people through my work, through my expertise. And then I graduated, got into the Technical Excellence Academy at Sanro, and then I was seconded to this construction site with Naidu Consulting. So that's how I've, been, I've gotten here. So the Sanro Technical Ex Excellence Academy deploys us to different sites. So I, was, I happened to be deployed to the Ashburton Interchange Project where the NIDU Consulting Team are the Site Supervision Team. So currently, I'm now working with NIDU Consulting, doing exactly what they get and using their experience to also grow myself. So talk to me a bit more about that project that you're working on, the Ashburton one, and what is this sort of training that you're receiving to carry out the project? So the project is a full upgrade to improve capacity and mobility. Um, and through that, through the project, I've been exposed to construction supervision of highly complex projects and I've been exposed to cost management, stakeholder management and different aspects of uh, construction. And what would you say have been some of the challenges that you've encountered as an intern? Well, yeah, it's a good question. Um, coming here, I did not see the actual need for the different stakeholders. I did not realize that I would come here and be faced with different professionals, environmental, environmentalists, police officers, uh, different types of engineers and learning how to communicate with them because I come with my agenda as a civil engineer, the environmentalist comes with one and we have to meet at the common ground as well as the community as well. So that's something that I have grown in since my first day here. A passion for civil engineering, as you know, the name civil engineering, um, I've got a passion for people, connecting, collaboration with people. So being here has, is literally, I'm in the center of that. And seeing the, the drawing, seeing the construction materials from the ground up, and then seeing what it actually looks like in real life and seeing how it impacts other people, the community during the project and after the project has been something that has sort of driven me to keep coming here every day. It sounds like a lot of responsibility, you know, just for an intern. Would you say that you're feeling very supported by both Sanral and Naidu Consulting? Actually, I'm grateful um, from, from Naidu and Sanral for giving us and trusting me with that responsibility because it's exposed me, it's helped me swim in the deep end mm -hmm. and sort of learn. And I think around me, I've got over 200 years of experience. Sure. So imagine having access to that at any given moment. I'm like a little seed that's in this feedback loop, getting <laughs> cultivated to really grow the economy in future. So I think it's a privilege to have so much responsibility. I got a bursary from Central. Um, Central offered me funding, um, which I'm very grateful for. And then um, after that, I was absorbed into the Technical Excellence Academy. Um, so they have a program of um, five years. So two years, it's construction monitoring phase. And then the other two years, it's the design phase. And then the final year, you must be registered with the Engineering Council of South Africa. So when they absorbed me, they deployed me to the entry Ashburton project um, um, with, with, with the NIDO consulting team which I've been working with to pursue the objectives of the contract. The project is an upgrade of the entry um, from Mare Road to um, the Ashburton Interchange. Um, we're adding um, two lanes in each direction, also constructing the auxiliary um, ramps, um, also the Ashburton Interchange and the alternative route, which is Al Rano 3. Um, what, what, I, what I'm tasked with from the RE is to take care of the traffic safety management and the safety on site, making sure that the contractor complies with the approved traffic accommodation plans, making sure that the safety standards of the contract are adhered to, making sure that the PPE is always um, up to standards. 
Interns are also working on the Kwamashu Umdotu N2 project and Ria Lachman Orion hopes this internship will take her from candidate engineer to a council certified engineer. I'm currently working on the N2 Kwamashu to Umdotu package. I am a part of the structures division of the construction monitoring team, which is NIDI Consulting. And my training so far has been undertaking site inspections of the various structures, as well as getting involved in the construction administration processes of construction monitoring. I do feel a sense of giving back to the community and the country. Um, the upgrades that we're currently undertaking on the N2 are to provide more effective commutation for motors. And the improvements are also for improving the economic hub of the country by providing more efficient commutation of goods and services, as well as the project itself provides a lot of opportunity for the local communities in terms of employment opportunities. I am uh, from Njerele Limpopo. Uh, that's where I did my, uh, that's where I went to school, that's where I grew up. Uh, in that area, being exposed to uh, a lot of gravel roads and very few uh, paved roads that are still in good condition. Uh, factors like that uh, uh, molded uh, my ambition to want to pursue uh, road construction, uh, pursue civil engineering, and hence uh, my decision uh, to, put, to pursue this career. Uh, the, project, the project I'm involved in right now is the upgrade of the N2 from the Kwamashu interchange uh, all the way to the uh, Umkloti River Bridge. Uh, the project involves uh, increasing the number of lanes uh, from the beginning of the project all the way to the uh, Mount Eshkomb interchange. We'll have five lanes in both directions and from that interchange all the way to the end of the project we'll then have four uh, lanes in each direction. Uh, this involves uh, uh, constructing a cut and fill uh, retaining walls and also uh, bridge extensions uh, to accommodate those extra lanes uh, that have been constructed. Uh, my role uh, basically is to learn as much as possible from the consulting, that's NIDU uh, consulting. Uh, their role which is uh, project management, uh, that's cost and uh, schedule, risk analysis and uh, uh, avoidance. So I went to Kabecha, uh, formerly known as Port Elizabeth, uh, to study a diploma in building and advanced diploma in quantity surveying, which I both uh, obtained at uh, Cum Laude. And then after that, I went to uh, the University of the Great Patersland, uh, to study an honors degree in quantity surveying. So that uh, qualification was uh, sponsored by Sandra. So that's how I got to be part of the Sun of family. So in 2021, when I was doing my final year in uh, that day's advanced diploma in QS, uh, I came across a post on uh, Facebook uh, that talks about Sunil Bazri's. Uh, I was aware that there's a sponsor from Sunil, but we knew that it was just for engineers. Somehow now they were also recruiting like uh, quantity surveyors. So I applied. And uh, lucky enough, the following year, I got a call from Rona Erasmus, uh, that's the Basri administrator from Sandro, uh, saying that I got the sponsor. I'm currently working on the N2 Aquamash uh, project. I work here as a junior quantity surveyor uh, as part of the site monitoring team, that's NIDU. What I'm hoping for is to uh, become a professional quantity surveyor and hopefully with the guidance of, uh, of Sandal and my mentors from uh, the TEA.